the number one thing I would I would say we did is the pull-up method, which I created. Um, I think people have been doing it, but I, I've made it a thing. So the pull-up method is where I see somebody who's coming to the city or wherever I'm at, and I get access to them by showing up to the event. Mm -hmm. Now, another part of who we talked about who I was was a connector, and I built relationship. So let's just say, for instance, there was one night I got Little Baby, Gunna, Thug, and G Herbo in the same night. All on the same night, right? <laughs> and it sounds crazy. To everybody. It's just, it's, this is the reality. I documented everything. Like, I can show everybody what happened. So my guys at Clark Atlanta, um, the year before, we had got their whole royal court. We gave them all hoodies. And that year, they had the baby. So we got some hoodies to the baby. We got it to their whole royal court. And I, and I always take care of the staff that helps us out. And that's one of the things I always do. Like, this is a celebrity, but who's around that person? I always take care of those people, too, yeah. because they're my direct access. Yeah. So when the next year they said, hey, we're having that concert. We got Gunna and Baby, but I think we're going to have a few surprise guests. So I'm like, well, who do you think you're going to have? So they mentioned a few names. I'm like, okay, cool. I said, I'll pull up with some stuff, and I'll bring a, a few bags of extra stuff just in case. Man, it was so crazy. So I got there um, around 8 p.m. The concert started around 9, and then I didn't leave till about 2 a.m. And what I was doing was I would – here's a key, a little hack. Whenever I go to something to get an influence or stuff, if I can, I always get a media pass. Like, people just want to get VIP or all access. All access is obviously good. VIP is cool. But media, you're allowed to, like, have a bag. You're allowed to, like, take pictures. You're allowed to, like, be in there. So I always get a media pass no matter what. And That's, I, that's a hack. A that, big hack. That, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you're about to make a whole lot of money. That's a hack. Yeah, so I get a media pass, um, and I got I just put it under my LLC, you know, Corey Avenger Entertainment or something like that, you know. I'll make up something, and then what happens is I'll get an access, and, and it's on media, 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 and nobody's stopping media. Yeah. And so then what happens is once I see the celebrity or the security guard, there's a few ways I would attack it, but first – I look for who's around them. So, for instance, when I saw Lil Baby, it was Lil Baby and, like, two people with him. One was a big guy, so that was his security, and the other one appeared to be his manager, friend, cousin, somebody like that. So the first thing I always do is hit the manager, friend, cousin, because they're going to be able to say, security, chill, and baby, this is who this is. So I saw his uh, people, and I was like, hey, what's going on, man? I don't mean to bother y'all. Real quick, I wanted to give Lil Baby some merch for my brand support by Cottage. Is that okay? He, he looked at Lil Baby. <clears throat> excuse me. He looked at Lil Baby, and Lil Baby's like, yeah, it's cool. And the security's like, it's cool. And so I gave it to him, and he's like, oh, y'all, I've seen this before. Like, I've seen this all over my timeline. And once he said that, I knew I already got him. How did all this come to be where NBA 2K? Mm -hmm. Like, there are several people who create brands. We see it all mm -hmm. the time. You, we, we go to events, and there's people vending. They got T-shirts. They got clothes. They have hats. Yeah. What made Support Black Colleges so different that you guys took off to where everybody don't get NBA 2K? Everybody does not mm -hmm. get their own night. For like yeah. every year with the Braves, <laughs> yeah. with, you know, what made your brand so different from all these other apparel brands? Um, I think it's a number of things. Uh, I would start with grassroots marketing. So we get in front of our audience every year. So you'll see us work anywhere from 10 to 30 events a year. Mm. So in every event, I would say 90% of events I work as well. And I do that because I need that feeling. I need that vibe. I need that culture to stay the same. Now, yeah, I can ask somebody else to do it, but people want to see me. And so at the end of the day, when we're at Essence Fest and I'm having, kind of, I'm laughing and joking with people and I'm like, oh, what school did you go to? You went, oh, man, I can't mess with you. I, it's all, all of that camaraderie and we're building a community. That's one thing that you don't see a lot of brands doing. At all. People are like, oh, I don't want to go to Essence. It's going to cost this. And everybody's looking at how much it costs, but not how much they can make. Mm -hmm. See, at Essence, you, we buy two booths. 2000 2000 we got to get the people there, 1000 2000 We got to pay for the Airbnb. We got to get the merch, a few thousand. But we'll go home making 60000 70000 Yeah. But not only that, we'll get ten to 20,000 emails, mm. which, which is people I can sell to afterwards. See, people forget about the data that you can use after they leave. And so many times we look at the upfront number, but I'm looking at everything in yeah. totality. So grassroots marketing is one. We touch all the homecomings. So we go to our audience where they're at. See, a lot of people are trying to create their own, you know, buzz and virality. I'm going to go to where there's 250,000 people. That's homecoming. I'm going to go in the yard and sell some T-shirts. I'm going to do what people used to do and make the money. I mean, if you go out to a, a, um, any rabid fans uh, games, people with T-shirts, T-shirts, $5, $10, up. Yeah. they be selling stuff. Yeah. I, I've seen it. Like, And I'm just going to what works. You know, everything doesn't have to be social media. I will partner that. With a strong brand message, it's direct to the point. It's, you don't have to question what our brand is. Support so, so. black colleges. 
I mean, yeah. like, I don't know how yeah. else to. <laughs> yeah. And we made it so it's it specifies a certain group of people, but it's for everybody. So I always tell people, they'd be like, oh, I didn't go to a black college. Well, I said, that's great because our brand's called Support Black Colleges. So do you support black? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, what's for you? Your cousin, your auntie, your brother, your sister. Yeah. It don't have to be you. It yeah. can be anybody else. And even those people who didn't go, she's still champion for it. Yeah. And then I would mix the last thing was, was influencer marketing. So having some of the biggest names in the world where our stuff helps. I mean, man, we got we got to speak to that. Like, yeah. So three specific things you said: grassroots marketing, clear me- a clear message. Mm-hmm. You also mentioned something I think most people miss. You're you're you believe in it so much, you're willing to invest in it, oh, and yeah. you also. So it's not just that you have an apparel brand. You understand some business concepts of marketing, which, you know, that's my thing. Yeah, yeah, right? definitely. <laughs> so you understand marketing from a standpoint of not just front-end money. Mm-hmm. People would rather just post on social media, but you're saying, no, I get a chance to get in front of my direct audience. Mm-hmm. I get a chance to get emails to build a relationship, to automate right. this. So it doesn't matter if I sell 10 shirts, 20,000 emails, you can nurture those all year. Oh, yes, so I think can. that's powerful. We've got to pause right there because I'm in the giving mood. I decided to offer you a free gift, absolutely free. Now, I tell you all the time about turning your ideas into online income, but how am I going to tell you to do something and not provide the resource for it? There are so many questions that people have online about what should I post? How do I get my engagement up? How do I get people to click the link in my bio? Buy from me. What should I sell? Whether it's an ebook, an online course, how much should I charge? How do I launch? How do I do a webinar? You see what I'm saying? So I decided to create a free training and give it to you that you can utilize to learn how to literally take the services that you do or the ideas you have and build a successful online company. Go to www.monetizewithmarkers.com, my gift to you. You're welcome. But the thing I would would ask, you mentioned influencer marketing. You guys have been able to get, when I say almost every major celebrity I can think of wearing your merchandise, which is unheard of, Mm. from Tiana Taylor. I think I've seen, is it Brandy? Think yeah, I've, Brandy. I think I've seen Brandy. I've seen Lotto, mm-hmm. like big up and coming rapper. I've seen, oh my goodness, so many <laughs> a- lot of people. actors, musicians, everywhere I could possibly, or even when you mentioned, you just said Deion Sanders, you're like, oh yeah, he wore our merch. Like, how, <laughs> yeah. what is, you don't have to go into, well, yeah, you could. This is monetizing market. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you saying to these people? Like, to get them to wear your merch, you know how many people would listen to this would be like, how do I get a celebrity to wear my merchandise? Like, yeah. how is Corey with J. Cole? How is, mm-hmm. like, how is he getting to all these rappers? How is he getting them? And here's the thing. They're not just wearing it. They're wearing it and posting a picture on their own and tagging you. It's true. It's a fact. Y'all got to be spending millions of dollars <laughs> to get these people. No, like, that's crazy. <laughs> We're actually spending no money, honestly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're spending no money. Zero dollars to Zero get dollars. influencers and celebrities to wear your merchandise. Zero dollars. Hold on. Hold on. Who, who calling Cap? <laughs> <laughs> like, call it. Call it. <laughs> Zero dollars to yeah. get people. Get, you can talking about people with massive reach. Mm-hmm. People with millions of followers are, take, are championing your brand saying, mm-hmm. hey, go buy this. Yeah. What are you guys doing? So a big part of you say your success and separates you guys' influence of marketing. Mm-hmm. What's some of the strategies that you guys are using for that? Yeah, so, I mean, the number one thing I would, I would say we did is the pull-up method, which I created. Um, I think people have been doing it, but I, I've made it a thing. So the pull-up method is where I see somebody who's coming to the city or wherever I'm at, and I get access to them by showing up to the event. Mm-hmm. Now, another part of who we talked about who I was was a connector, and I built relationships. So let's just say, for instance, there was one night I got Little Baby, Gunna, Thug, and G Herbo in the same night. All on the same night, right? <laughs> and it sounds crazy. To everybody. It's just, it's, this is the reality. I documented everything. Like, I can show everybody what happened. So my guys at Clark Atlanta, um, the year before, we had got their whole royal court. We gave them all hoodies. And that year, they had the baby. So we got some hoodies to the baby. We got it to their whole royal court. And I, and I always take care of the staff that helps us out. And that's one of the things I always do. Like, this is a celebrity, but who's around that person? I always take care of those people, too, yeah. because they're my direct access. Yeah. So when the next year they said, hey, we're having a concert. We got Gunna and Baby, but I think we're going to have a few surprise guests. So I'm like, well, who do you think you're going to have? So they mentioned a few names. I'm like, okay, cool. I said, I'll pull up with some stuff, and I'll bring a, a few bags of extra stuff just in case. Man, it was so crazy. So I got there um, around 8 p.m. The concert started around 9, and then I didn't leave till about 2 a.m. And what I was doing was, I would, here's a key, a little hack. 
whenever I go to something to get an influencer stuff, if I can, I always get a media pass. Like, people just want to get VIP or all access. All access is obviously good. VIP is cool, but media, you're allowed to, like, have a bag. You're allowed to, like, take pictures. You're allowed to, like, be in there. So I always get a media pass, no matter what. And that's, I, that's a hat. A big that, hat. That, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you're about to make a whole lot of money. That's a hat. Yeah, so I get a media pass. Um, and I got, I just put it under my LLC, you know, Corey Arvinger Entertainment or something like that, you know, I'll make up something. And then what happens is I'll get an access and, and it's on media, 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 and nobody's stopping media. Yeah. And so then what happens is once I see the celebrity or the security guard, there's a few ways I would attack it. But first I look for who's around them. So for instance, when I saw a little baby, it was little baby and like two people with him. One was a big guy. So that was his security. And the other one appeared to be his manager, friend, cousin, somebody like that. So the first thing I always do is hit the manager, friend, cousin. Because they're going to be able to say, security, chill, and baby, this is who this is. So I saw his uh, people, and I was like, hey, what's going on, man? I don't mean to bother y'all. Real quick, I wanted to give little Baby some merch for my brand, Support by Cod. Is that okay? He, he looked at little Baby. <clears throat> excuse me. He looked at little Baby, and little Baby's like, yeah, it's cool. And the security's like, it's cool. And so I gave it to him, and he's like, oh, y'all, I've seen this before. Like, I've seen this all over my timeline. And once he said that, I knew I already got him. Because he had seen it just, I guess, on social media. Yeah. Boom, got him, right? So that's him. Then I wanted to get Gunna. Gunna had a ton of people around him. It was like <laughs> 40 people with him. And I'm like, oh, man. So those are a little more difficult. You, you, you thought you thought you were about to get them hands thrown on you. Man, I, I think that all the time. I'm like, yo, somebody <laughs> going to steal off of me because I don't come aggressive, but I, I move with intention. So some people are like, ah, oh, ah, oh. no, not me. I'm like, yo, like, like, come on, what's good? Like, I'm here to do something, right? Like, so Gunna has people around him, and all his friends had on ski mask and it was crazy. <laughs> so um, there was one lady that was in the group with them. So I got her attention. And I was like, hey, what's going on? I'm trying to get something for Gunna. She's like, ah. she was kind of like frantic. Then I saw him stop to take pictures with the Royal Court people. So I just kind of slid in with them. And then when he was going down the line, I just happened to be next in line. I pulled, picked up a hoodie and said, hey, this is my brand. Da, da, da. And he kind of kind of heard it, kind of did. And I could tell when he took a picture with it. I'm like, boom. I gave it to the lady. I was like, hey, here, this is for him. He, didn't actually, he never actually wore it, but... He got it, and one day I might just see him, you know, wear it, because yeah. that's kind of how it works. I, I've given stuff to people. Drewski, um, big influencer Drewski, I gave it to him one time, like in 2018. He didn't wear it until 2021, and then wow. he did like three videos with it, and we paid nothing, right? And three so years later, years later, right? And then what happened is he went from 200,000 followers to two million followers. So thank you for waiting, because now <laughs> when you do it, we get a, a shout out for a million million dollar page. He just wearing it just to wear it, but it helps us because you did something. It was an influencer marketing play. So um, I pull up on people. Um, I do research too. And one of the key things is I say you have to be, so I have this, uh, it's the five piece of the pull up method. Plan and the, the, the one that I love the most is prepare. So I have questions ready for you. If you're somebody, I know something about your life. So give me an example, uh, be an influencer, choose somebody, like an actual real celebrity. And I'll tell you how I would do my research for that person so that when we have a conversation, they can't say no to me. Gotcha. A real celebrity that stands out in my head. I won't use my girl who coming in town in August, Beyonce, because we broke up. Um, <laughs> let's use her, though. Let's use okay, her. Beyonce. So one thing about Beyonce is, obviously, she, she's you know world-renowned. I would start to look at all her interviews that she does, and I also do a lot of research on where she came from and you know what she supports. So I do know that she did the Homecoming uh, documentary with Netflix, and so that was mimicking HBCUs. So I would ask her a question along the lines of, "What is your HB? What is your favorite HBCU uh, dance team? Like band dance team?" Yeah. And it's such a weird question because it's like, like what? But I know when she did that, they had to study some HBCU dance teams. Absolutely. So she's gonna say the first one that comes to her mind, and then I'm gonna be like, "Oh, that's where I went, right? Whether I went there or not." <laughs> <laughs> but I want I, what I'm trying to do is make a connection between us. Yeah. Oh my God, you love Jackson State dance team? Man, I went there like. Bro, I went, and so now it's like a thing where it's like, oh, that's dope. Actually, you know, I started this brand at Jackson State, right? And now it's to a point where now I get to like, it's now we're having a conversation. So I'll give you a perfect example. When we got Michael B. Jordan to wear one of our hoodies. A lot of people don't know, but Michael B. Jordan's brother went to Howard. Mm. He doesn't look like him. He don't act like him. He was a football player. He like 6'5". Like, you would never know it's his brother. And I found out it was his brother because one day, Michael B. Jordan, before he was like really famous, came to campus. And I'm like, oh, that's that dude from Harbaugh. That's when, you know, Harbaugh was the best movie he had yeah, had out. Yeah. And so I'm like, and then I see who he's with. 
kind of took mental notes, and I did. I just started doing some research. You go on those Wikipedia, it says, "Oh, my brother Khalid Jordan." Da, da, da. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's definitely him. You should quit working for free. How did social media hire all of us to be their workforce? We're on the app, posting videos, going live, creating reels. We do not get paid when we create content on social media. They do by selling our content to advertisers. But how do you actually build an online business using social media? I wanna break it down for you and give you access to it. There's five simple steps. I'll tell it to you in a few seconds. Step number one is client attraction. I'm gonna show you how to actually attract clients that will happily pay you what you're offering. Step number two, how to capture them. How do you get their emails? How do you get their phone numbers? How do you get them to show up to your event? Be on your Zoom calls. To what I refer to as client dating, it's where you nurture a relationship with people to get them to say yes to whatever you're offering. And I'm even going to show you what type of content to create that gives you brand visibility and brand recognition. I call it social media secrets. You get access wherever you're watching this video. You'll see it in the description and you'll see it beneath this. Let's get back to the episode. And so when it was time to meet him and talk to him, I'm like, yeah, I go to Howard. I went to school with your brother. And like, he's kind of shocked, like, dang, you know my brother, like, it was kind of like, I could tell it caught him off guard. Once I see that you're shocked, I'm like, bet, I got you. Yeah. Because, let me get a picture, let me get an audit. that's what, that's what you they're separate used to. yourself. So I'm like, that. yo, I went to school with your brother. Man, that boy is, and now we start talking about something that's totally not that. Hey, bro, by the way, I got this, man, if you want it cool, like, if not, it's always a no pressure situation. I never pressure them or make them feel forced. And so, I think just building that connection, not being scared, not being afraid of the no, because I get a lot of no's too. But... I also document those too. I think it's really important because everyone is not going to be a win. I waited outside the Meg Thee Stallion's dressing room for like six hours and she never came. She went straight from uh, Sprinter to stage to back to Sprinter. And I thought she was going to come off and, you know, go to the dressing room. She didn't. And I ended up losing out on merch. But those kind of things happen all the time, but you have to be prepared for literally everything. So um, that would be one of the ways to pull up method. Obviously, uh, one of the key plays I do is um, I look at people's sta uh, stylists or their managers, or like a lot of celebrities actually have their P.O. box in their bio or like on their website somewhere. Most people just don't look for it. Mm. So if it's www.beyonce.com, it might say partnerships, contact, whatever. I'm looking at the contact. Then I say to send merch, send it to here. Most people just don't look that far. Yeah. If they don't see it directly in the bio, they'll try to DM her. You think Beyonce looking at her DMs? <laughs> right. She's right. not doing that, bro. All, everybody's Excuse doing that. Excuse me, Miss B. Like, us. <laughs> <laughs> and so what you, like, you're, you're, you're crazy. And it was so, cr I was on live the other day, and I could do this here live too. Somebody gave me somebody to find the information, and I got on my phone and I found the information. It was for Kevin Hart. I, I, I bet you I could find Kevin Hart's uh, P.O. Box or his information. So I went to Kevin Hart's Instagram, so I looking at pictures, and I always look at who they tag. Mm. And most of the time, if, if it's a high fashion shoot, he'll tag the stylist in the shoot. So then when you get to the stylist, I go to the stylist, see what other clients they work with. And I like kind of just do my little research and I end up finding Kevin Hart's stylist. Kevin Hart didn't tag anybody on his page, but he tags his wife all the time. So I went to her page and she tagged the stylist. She said, I love Kevin's stylist. He always does. So I'm like, boom, that's the stylist. Then it says in her bio to send merch to my clients, send it here. Boom, Kevin Hart, right? And it was that easy. What? Most people pause, are not looking at that. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all, listen, it's that, like, you're, you're giving something right now that I hope everybody grabs. If this is what you do for business, you can't be lazy. You can't. Oh, no. Like, it, it's not, like, mm. success is never convenient. It is not. You're talking about, so someone will see, like, the question that we started with. How are you getting your merchandise to all of these people and they're championing it for free? And you broke down, clear mission statement. They can make a connection to it. I'm mm. willing to do the research. I prepare. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to hear no as an answer. That's right. I move with well, intentionality. But what they also might be missing you said, I was willing to search this person, find his wife who tagged this person, look up mm -hmm. this thing. Man, mm -hmm. you know how many people would, would miss that opportunity because <laughs> it would take a few extra steps? Mm -hmm. And here's what's crazy. They'll bypass the research and sit and scroll. They will. <laughs> and sit and scroll. Like when we think about it, mm -hmm. you're talking about a million dollar company, mm -hmm. right? A seven figure, dollar, seven figure company mm -hmm. that's built on being able to research, prepare, Pull up, show mm -hmm. up, invest in yourself to go to HBCU. That's right. Constantly put out content, like which we'll get into in a second. Like you guys are really like a media company kind of. hundred percent. And I tell people that all the time. I say we're a media company that happens to sell clothes. Whoa, say it again. We're a media company that just happens to sell clothes. 